We've landed. <laughs> we have landed in Europe. We are in Brussels right now. We have a five hour layover um, in Brussels, but we're in Europe. We made it. There's a crying baby. The whole oh, flight. yeah, there was a crying baby the whole flight, the whole like six and a half hour flight. But then there was another baby that was a fucking baller ass baby. He didn't speak any English, he only spoke Dutch. <laughs> Us and this baby, we thought we were fucking kiki <laughs> I've never said that word in my life. <laughs> the blue tip. This uh, it, right here, fucking a Smurf driving a plane. Pilot Smurf. He's right behind me, isn't he? Okay, we landed. Oh, it's really close. We landed in Budapest. So far. Not a ton to see. You could tell me this was Ohio and I would believe you. <laughs> Here we are in Budapest. It's a gray day, but good thing we have a colorful attitude. Moment of truth. Almost 23. 23 hour journey. Full day. 23 no hours. Sleep. No sleep. No sleep. Here's our little apartment. It's very tiny, but it totally works. It's got everything we need for the next, what, like three days? <sighs> I've looked better. We're so fucking tired. We're just gonna get food at this little street market and then go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> How to pronounce it? <laughs> and we got these little Hungarian, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's pronounced like L-A-N-G-O-S, Langos, but it's some sort of like, Ligma. I think it tastes like fried dough. That's delicious. Uh, okay. Oh, man. First night in Budapest. Success? Success. We're so fucking tired. And Rachel provided me a sleep aid. A stupefying drug, if you will. Typically how it goes. Turn it off. <laughs> we just slept for 13 fucking hours. Budapest fit check day one. I've got my little jeans and my newbies. And... White cami with a little button up, a little bow in my hair. This isn't gonna go in, is it? Of course it is. Fit check. What? <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Okay, Budapest fit check, exploring the city. Got some black linen pants. Dude, you're killing it. Keep going, you're <laughs> fucking killing it. A striped shirt. I got my little crossbody that I'll wear all the time. Pizza Vejas. Vejas, they're pretty dirty. Come on. This is crazy. First meal in Budapest. Second meal in Budapest. Oh shit, second meal in Budapest. There's the opera house. You'll see me there one day. <laughs> no you won't. This is St. Stephen's Basilica, home of White Jesus. White Jesus, what can I tell you? When I was in high school, my friends and I used to sneak into the Catholic school church and uh, eat the communion like a snack, like a Ritz cracker. I'll not be doing that here, out of respect. This is really insane. I'm very dumbfounded. Like, I think if I had all the command strips in the world, I don't think I could build something like this. There's God up there. A white man. No one tell Ariana Grande. This is also crazy. This is some education. Catholic churches have relics, like either an object that belonged to them or a body part or something like that is in the church, which is crazy and kind of metal if you think about it. So this right here, you can barely see, but that is the right hand of St. Stephen, the right hand. They cut off homie's hand, put it in a cage, and now my little arse is taking pictures of it. Crazy. There it is, the hand. I mean, this is a really amazing basilica, so I gotta hand it to him. So we're leaving St. Stephen's Basilica. That was like fucking sick. It was amazing. Sick. Sick. I think it's cool because I'm, I'm not particular. I did go to Catholic school my whole life, but I'm not like particularly religious, but like you don't have to be religious to admire really, really cool shit, which we did. My mind is blown. 
I was playing in this fountain right here and a parade just started. A parade of chefs. Do we think Remy the Ratatouille is on top? Dude, this guy is totally the ringleader. Chef parade, chef parade, chef parade. This is Hungarian parliament where the magic and the tragic happen. <gasps> They're coming this way, we gotta run. Oh my god. They're, on us. They're whipping. We gotta run. This is a crazy view we have right now. We got Parliament to the left, Danube to the right. This is baller, and I feel immensely blessed in this moment. The flags of Parliament are being held up by little tiny cats. Great touch. We're at a fisherman's Bastille in Hungary. I'm sweating not because it's hot out, but because I just had violent diarrhea. I told her not to put this in. I said I'd be real. We're having a good morning so far. We, uh... Morning? It's five. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, this is crazy. We stumbled upon a sign that said labyrinth and we followed it. Let us down these stairs to a dark cave. Like what? This is fucking terrifying. This is fucking terrifying. It's so scary. Like what is that? And that's these dark caves. Like why did they not pay the fucking electric bill, bro? It's so dark. Oh, oh my god. god. <gasps> Which way do we go? No way. What is that? We gotta go. Is that. They're fake people. Oh. I just saw them. Shut up, Rachel. So we made it out of the labyrinth. Fucking terrifying. Wouldn't recommend. Actually, that's a lie. I would totally recommend. We made a friend. This is Chris. Hi, Chris. Made him friend with him in the labyrinth. He's American, which is not exciting, but he's still, uh, cool. Here's this fountain. Sick stuff. Love it. Here's the statue of a man on a horse. There seems to be a lot of those in the city. Beautiful view, though. Hello. Update. It's pouring rain. We jumped into this trolley. Is it going the way we need to go? Are you from Budapest? No. Okay. It was cool that they, they, thought, to, they thought we were here. Yeah, we're running! We're running through the Budapest streets! This is horrible! Okay. This is one of my favorite parts of the trip so far. <laughs> running I through the rain? the rain? Yeah. You're a freak. Yeah. Okay, we're in a ruined bar called Simplakert. Rachel? This place is so freaking cool and it's massive. It's huge! Cheers! To Budapest! Budapesto! Budapesto! You're a genius! It's day two in Budapest. I have these like striped pants, a little tank top, tied my jacket around my around my neck like a like a little preppy girl. Day two didn't start off great. It's raining. I was really hangry and I stepped in dog shit. But I wiped my sneaker on the curb like a good citizen. And now we're eating breakfast. Plus the day is turning around. This is the best day of my life. Currently we are in the museum of Hungarian composer Franz Liszt. I don't really give a fuck about uh, historical music, but Rachel does and I'm a supportive friend. When I was a young boy, my father. Okay, so we decided kind of last minute to visit the Gelert Baths. This is the outside. It's a huge pool and it's beautiful. This is the indoor pool. Look at this. What the fuck? We were just in the locker rooms and it was male and female. Hated Jump that. <laughs> we just stopped somewhere quick for dinner and Rachel ordered a side of coleslaw and this is what came. That's what I get, I guess, for ordering coleslaw in Europe. But We're back from dinner. The baths were super cool, but I was also ever so slightly skeeved because they are a large public bathtub. I would say I was like 99% in awe, 1% skeeved. We also went into a steam room, but Julia had to leave early. Oh, we panicked. went to a steam room and I had to leave because I felt like the walls were closing in. The update you all have been waiting for we just came out of a club and I totally forgot it's my fucking birthday. The clock hit midnight and I was like, June 9th, it's my fucking birthday. The club has a ton of rooms and each room is playing a different type of music. So it's pretty cool, but also really weird. I kissed a man from Ireland. An Irishman. I kissed a Brit, it was fine. <laughs> okay, we're on the train. We just left Budapest. 
We had a great time in Budapest. Loved it. 10 out of 10. Right? <laughs> Today's my 22nd birthday. I'm 22. Uh. Now we're on our way to Vienna. I fell asleep on this train and the woman next to me had to wake me up so she could get out and I snorted myself awake. This is a recreation of that. <laughs> we just arrived in Vienna. We're renting a room from this kind woman. It's just a little bed and a wardrobe and... <laughs> it's so pretty. I feel like we're in um, a storybook. This is Vienna. Beautiful. Look at this, man on a horse. Dope ass fountain. Let's see the fit. Oh, birthday fit. Little dress. This is like 100% Vienna Times Square. This is a family playing accordion. That's a fucking bear. Is it not? I got this crepe for my birthday. Probably one of the best crepes I've ever had in my life. Good morning. It's day two in Vienna. I think we're gonna go get some coffee. <laughs> we're at this little cafe for breakfast and they gave me a whole ass fucking table. This is the Karls Kirsch or something of that nature. It's a Catholic church. I think we're gonna go inside. Because if there's one thing to know about us, it's that we fuck with the church. This is insane. Look at the ceiling, bro. Holy shit. I know nothing about this church, but this is probably like one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. Look at that. All of this, and then some kindergartner's art. What the fuck? This doesn't look like Jesus, but I don't know who else it would be. I don't know, the pamphlet was in German, so. <laughs> I'm really vibing with this one. I wonder if this will fit in my apartment. Nothing in America even begins to like come to this level. This is some, this is shit you only get in Europe. This is insane. These are uh, confessionals, which like is a sacrament in the Catholic Church. I made my first confession when I was like seven and I have not done it since. So I probably went in there and I was like, I, I yelled at my sister and the priest was probably like, say five Hail Marys and eat a cheese it and shut up. Here's the beautiful organ and also a Dell computer. <laughs> Here's the top of it. We climbed it. I'm really out of breath. Gorgina. <gasps> this should just ring. Weine Karlskirche, which I just learned is German for Church of St. Charles. Hands down, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah. yeah. St. Stephen's. It's so different from the other one. It's crazy. Look at it. Wow, look at that. No way. More gothic for sure. I think I like the other one a lot better. This one is the other one's emo sibling. Like this one has blue, blue hair and it's like questioning authority. And the other one, like, you know, plays soccer and gets good grades. Soccer. <laughs> The other one just built a birdhouse, and this one just told her mom to shut the fuck up. This one is Phoebe Bridgers, and the other one is Casey Musgraves. The other one is New Balances, this is Doc Martens. The other one is studying nursing. This one is studying women, gender, and sexuality studies. This one is Ariana Grande, this one is Lana Del Rey. That one is Romeo and Juliet, and this is Macbeth. Wait, oh, the other one wore an ankle brace for attention, but this one's on Prozac. The other one was Pinterest, this is Reddit. <laughs> This one wore a suit to prom. <laughs> That's a good one. We're done, we're done. Are you kidding? I think I give a fuck. <laughs> Criminal museum, let's go. I have headphones on because the, the signs are only in German, but I'm in the crime museum. Check out this jail, it sucks to be that guy. Clocked, human head. <laughs> it's like this cute little courtyard and then Oh, don't look at that. Um, 
not my favorite thing that we've done so far. It's pouring rain right now. So we decided to have dinner at Austrian version of Shake Shack. Except it's vegan. It's called Swing Kitchen. Delicious. It's so freaking good. It's basically vegan Shake Shack and the menus are in German. We just stopped to get a piece of cake at a little bakery near our Airbnb. And this little old Austrian woman next to the cash register started like striking up a conversation with us. She didn't speak a lot of English, but she was so cute. We got our cake and we were about to leave. And she was like, no, no, I pay, I pay. And she paid for our cake. I feel like a terrible person. I feel like bad people because I feel like I stole her money even though she fully offered. To replace the one that fell on the ground earlier. <laughs> Thank you, woman from Austria. Good morning. Third morning in Vienna. Wow. Don't put me in this. We're on our way to get some coffee. <laughs> Look at this guy with a stick. Oh, he's so good. Good boy. This is Schönbrunn Palace. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. That is some New York City shit. Oh, hate that. <laughs> hey, pride at the castle. You're tripping if you don't think at least one emperor of some country was hella gay at All one point in time. All of them? You should make a joke about how that's you. Hey. Yeah. No, okay. We got it. You got it. <laughs> Look at these ducks. Imagine being a duck and this is your home. Here's my boy Neptune and Duckling! Yes! Neptune wearing his crown, even though we all know that Neptune's crown is in Shell City, marine gifts, and sundries. Whoa, 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 there's people in there. Oh, how do we get in there? We did it, we're in the fountain. Look, whoa. I want to do a flip into this water so bad. Quench. We have reached the palace rose gardens and Rachel's <laughs> crying. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's taking every bone in my body to not frolic through these flowers straight into that fountain. Second cappuccino of the day. Yeah. We just hauled our asses across the entire city to go to the art museum. Look at this. It's majestic as fuck. Look at that. I have a feeling we're gonna see some penises very soon. Clocked, literally just walked in. This is amazing. There's so many bare titties in this room, I don't think I can clock them all. See this, whatever this era is, I think I would've thrived because I am shaped just like this woman. What the fuck is that? A cat? A lemur? See this right here, she's got hip dips and they're all over her. Where is that today? No head. See this right here. I fuck with this. I love a mummy. I, I want to be buried in one of these. Write that down. When I die, I want each of my organs placed in a canoptic jar. And then in a thousand years, when they dig me up out of my sarcophagus, I'm gonna haunt those motherfuckers like there's no tomorrow. I just ordered schnitzel. Um, a little scared, but it also is just like fried meat, so I don't really know how I can go wrong. Schnitzel's really good. Okay, for dessert, we decided to go to the Hotel Sache, where the Sache Tort is very famous in Vienna. How'd you like my pronunciation of that? Look at that. The crosswalks here have little people in love. Adorable. Today was definitely the most money we've spent on food, which does make me a little anxious, especially because we very much planned this trip to be on a budget. We did We did kind of know ahead of time that while in Vienna, we did want to ball out on a one dinner and have authentic schnitzel. Meals like that will probably not be happening again, but it was nice to have one little fancy night. This is the end of our last night in Vienna. Budapest and Vienna were super different. It's hard to compare the two because Budapest definitely had like a more fun nightlife, right? Edgier. But, but it was a little edgier, yeah. Uh, maybe more industrial. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Vienna is definitely quieter, but the streets are just like gorging. Tomorrow we get on the train to Prague. This was an awesome first week in Europe. Both of these trips were so fun. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
<laughs> We're on top of the world right now. Yeah, thank you for watching and stay tuned to be continued.